I'm Clinton Hunt from Rode Microphones and today we're here with Simon Walker all the way from the UK. Now Simon's had 20 years of experience as an editor, colorist and shooter and the fact that you're also an Adobe master trainer. Quickly just tell us what that's about. Well um, I train in the, the host of the professional video applications for Adobe but it also means that I train other trainers yep. as, as well. So that, that's, there's a few of us around the globe but essentially that's the difference between a yep. certified trainer and a certified master okay. trainer. Okay cool. In your experience as an editor and colorist, in terms of footage and rushes that you get, the difference between an experienced shooter and an inexperienced one, and what are your um, suggestions and tips? Well, when we were talking earlier on about a collaborative process, yep. and the thing that I always uh, try and instill in everyone is that is when do you start grading? Is it when, the time, when you hit stuff on the timeline, or is it when you actually get on set? Yep. And it's when you get on set. Because if you can look after the background and you can monitor the colours in the background that would be difficult to take out in the grade and then you can move those on set, then you're going to make the colourist's job much easier. And so that's, I suppose, as an answer to that question, that would be the main difference. The trick is um, to not overexpose your highlights. Yeah. Of course, yeah. because there's so much detail and so much that can be said with that, of course. Yeah. And also, that going back to that, um, the colours in the shot, because um, they tell a story. So your background tells a story, the position of your protagonists tells a story, and so does the colour. So that if you're in a quite a blue setting, for example, it could be quite cool, if you like. But if it's in a, um, if it's a blue colours, but it's obviously warm, like we're not wearing um, um, warm weather clothing, yeah. then that can suggest an emotional atmosphere rather than a physical temperature. Yeah. So it's those sorts of things to consider whilst you're actually on set, and then you can exaggerate those when you're grading. Okay. And it's so much easier exaggerating rather than having to replace sh um, stuff from scratch yeah. and making mask corrections and so forth. Okay. So it's, it's back to that collaborative process. Yeah. Grade from the very first time you think about the first shot rather than when you get onto the timeline. Okay, um, now I understand that you're also a shooter and coincidentally you use a uh, so video mic pro on your DSLR as well as yeah, video yeah. mic. So um, how important is the sound for you in terms of being an editor? That's the old cliche, isn't it? The yeah. sound is 50% um, of the picture, yeah, or yeah. sometimes more than. Yeah. And people are much more happy to, to watch a slightly grainy picture mm -hmm. if the sound's okay, mm -hmm. rather than the other way around. So yeah. it's so important. And we're, we're sitting out here in um, a nice cafe, and we, we got the sounds off, and traffic, the traffic people, going by, yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah. Which, which is, you know, that's, that's fine for this environment, but if you had a different type, yeah. of setting and if you had a setting where you had to, the part of the story was this person was alone mm -hmm. and without anybody else around then that would be a problem so that's hugely important in terms back to the story it's telling what yeah. sort of what the ambient sound and what story that is telling okay. good okay and finally as an adobe master trainer what would uh, what sort of tip would you give to aspiring editors how would you anything that you can suggest that would improve a person's editing technique like you said practice being one of them Repetition is the mother of all skills, yeah. but anything else that you feel that might be important to improve the editing oh, skills? Oh, this is the best, this is the best tip of all, and this is, this is homework, yeah. but this is just like, keep watching stuff. Yeah. Watch TV, watch movies, watch genres that you wouldn't necessarily yeah. watch, yeah. and just to see how the colours are telling a story. But probably the biggest tip, I'd say, is to go to your local art gallery. Because the, these colour techniques aren't new. These artists have been doing them for hundreds of years. Yeah. So it's so interesting to see in a painting where specific colours have been chosen, how those are helping to tell the story of that one still, if you like, that one frame. So yeah, the homework is watch telly and go to art galleries. Great. Thank you, Simon, for your oh, time. You're welcome. Thanks and for we me. hope to see you back here in Sydney and Australia again. And uh, for, those, for those of you guys that want to find out more about grading or editing in general, go and look up Simon. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.